page 122, Takatina. A Takata is a touch piece. A lot of fast running notes in a Takata. They're fun to play. Kind of tricky, but they're fun to play. To me, a Takatina is just a little touch piece, which makes sense because you see all these 16th notes going crazy all over everywhere. And just forget the articulation. Let's just get the notes first. Six flats. Mm, there are lots of flats. So here. They're in this position. Left hand's here. And you just work it out really, really slow and make sure you can get the, the notes. The rhythm shouldn't be a problem. They're all 16th notes. It's just, one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a, and you take it any speed you want for, while you're learning it. Then you get down to the second line, second measure. Now we got repeated notes. Don't forget the C flats. Then we can put the articulation back in the staccatos. This is allegro. This is fast. I can't do a wrist staccato very fast. I get tired very quickly if I if I try a wrist staccato on these I'm going to ah, I'm tired. But I can do a finger staccato pretty quick and these fast passages like this are handy with a finger. Because I'm not going to get tired. I'm just plucking the keys. Now when you get to the repeated notes, you're pretty much stuck with wrists on those. Second line, second measure. And then it goes back to the first melody at the beginning again. And that's about all I have to say on this. It's pretty straightforward. As far as how fast it goes, again, that's up to you and your speed limit. Everybody has their own built-in speed limit. They have to be even and controlled. These notes, and if that's as fast as you can go, then that is your allegro. And that's it. When we do the play with me, I'm going to go slow because I just want to double check the notes. We don't need to check the rhythm here because it's all nothing. Hmm. Dynamic wise, you can do the dynamics, just there's not a lot to it. It starts out loud, and then the second line you see that hairpin to get louder well come down before you get louder don't be loud and get louder on top of it come down first so in the second measure you, you can start that down like more of a mezzo loud medium loud and then gradually go back up to loud and then in this third line second measure come back down to a mezzo loud and then in the last measure, you're loud again. That's not the only way to interpret this. This dynamics, you could stay loud through the whole thing and get very loud in the middle part where you get louder and then come back down to a loud if you want. I just, this is a light, fast, staccato running thing and very loud doesn't work very well with that. So I'm just saying loud is about as loud as I care to get on this one. You get to the very end, the last measure, that's very loud. That's fortissimo. Wrist staccato on those. Just all of a sudden at the end, you're there. So let's try this. I'm going to give us four counts, but because of the 16th notes, I'm going to put the metronome on eighth notes. So it's going to be eighth, eighth notes. So it'll be like one and two and. So 16th notes is one e and da two e and da or like so one e and da two so get to where you can play it this fast and then play it with me and we'll try it it goes a lot faster than this but get this fast at least to start with i'm going to give us two quarter note counts so go ahead and put your hands in the positions they go and we'll play this one E and a two E go. Uh, one. 